Hey guys, Scott Schlemmer here. Uh, just wanted to shoot this quick video today um, in regards to a follow-up on my blog post, how to start a network marketing business. And, <clears throat> well, that is kind of a loaded question because you're if you ask a thousand different marketers, you're gonna get a thousand different answers. The one thing that you're gonna get is you're gonna get answers that lead in one of two directions typically. And this is this really led, I've, I've been reading, I do a lot of studying in the industry, I'm a, I'm a student of the industry, and I do a lot of, of studying from some of the best. And one thing I see throughout the industry is that there is really a focus of either building this online or building this offline. Um, and I don't know why that, that is. Um, I've found that it should be built online, offline, you know, inline, upline, downline, you know, wherever, you know, whatever line it is, you got to be able to build this thing. It's all about breaking down those three words, network, marketing, business. Network is building a group of people, of friends, of influence, of, you know, people coming together, people that you know, building relationships. Marketing is a vehicle tool to selling and moving your products or services. And then obviously business is, is the foundation and the business of it. So, um, of the tool itself. So networking, just doing that. Now, can that be built online and offline? Absolutely it can, and it should be done. Let me give you some examples. If you're in your office and you're working, you should be working on your social media campaigns or um, solo ads or building funnels or building your list and, and learning how to do some of those things. Um, you know, right now, for example, I'm right in the midst of learning how to use Twitter as a marketing tool. I, I'm a Twitter idiot. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a Twitter idiot. So I'm taking some amazing, amazing, amazing training right now. I'm in the process of building 20 Twitter accounts that are going to cover a, a cross cover, a bunch of different niches that are going to generate a bunch of different leads. They're going to generate a bunch of different contacts and networking and being able to create more relationships. Huh, how about that? It's all about creating relationships, right? So I'm doing that online. Now, if I'm offline, don't forget about it. Don't walk out of your office and say, hey, there goes my business. I'm out the door. So you walk outside, you're like, you, you might meet somebody at a restaurant. Let's say that, you know, my wife and I are at the restaurant tonight. We're having dinner and this server comes up and he's awesome. And he's just like, always smiling and he's, he's just really personable and he's got character and all those kinds of things. You know, you're probably going to engage him in conversation, but you know what you're probably not thinking about is maybe I need to create some sort of a relationship with this guy. You know what? Maybe I need to ask this guy some questions about himself. Like, hey, man, are you from here? Are you from West Texas? Oh, yeah? You're not? You are? Whatever it is. And then you're going to follow up maybe with, oh, yeah, where are you from? You know, is this the only job here? Or are you going to school? What do you do? You know? Be interested, act interested, find a, 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 something there that could be in common. Now, you might not have anything with that guy, but you know what? If I don't ask him questions, I'm not going to know. So, you know, think, use your brain. When you're driving down the road, you're going to pick up your mail, your groceries, you got five or ten minutes. You know what? You might have a couple of people that you can pick up the phone and you can call them, engage them in conversation. They might be old friends. Now, when you do that, don't necessarily pick them up and go, hey, I got a great business opportunity for you. Can you, do you have time to take a look at it if I send you some information? Blah, blah, blah. You haven't talked to them in two years. That's not what you want to do. You pick up the phone. You go, hey, I haven't talked to you in a couple of years. You know, you haven't talked to them since college. You know, whatever it is. Gauge some conversation with them. How's their family? What's going on? All right, cool. Hey, man, I'll talk to you later. But you know what? You sparked and you recreated that relationship. And somewhere down the road, there's going to be opportunity there. If you're driving down the road and you see a real estate sign and it says Joe Dotson on it, write down that name. Stop. Pull over to the side of the road. Write down that name. Write down that phone number. Call that guy up. Say, hey, Joe, I'm Scott Schlemmer. You know, I live here in uh, Sweetwater and I just noticed he had a, a real estate sign down here in my neighborhood. He got a house for sale. And, uh, you know, you'd be like, hey, are you interested? You know, or whatever. But like, no, you know, I actually know, but I love meeting entrepreneurs in the area, and I just wanted to call and introduce myself. And I uh, wanted to, to, you know, see maybe, uh, maybe learn a little bit more about the house so I can give you some referrals, you know, something like that. Find some com kind of common interest. But you know what? I picked up the phone. I called the guy. If that's not something you're comfortable with, don't do that. That's fine. But I'm just telling you, keep your op options open. Don't limit yourself. I see too many people in this industry limiting themselves 
to doing it one way or the other. They're either building it online, they walk out their house and they completely forget that they have a business, or they're out there building it offline and they're going to all these different events and all these different social things and, and meeting all these great people. And then when they come home and they get on their computer, all they're doing is scrolling Facebook and looking at what their friends are doing, or they're reading the newspaper, or they're you know doing whatever. They're not focusing on what could be an hour of building your business and creating a relationship with somebody online. So how to start your network marketing business. That's how I would start it. I would start it by using every avenue possible to create relationships. I'm not one that's gonna vomit all over my friends and family. I'm not gonna try to introduce them to an opportunity by sitting down formally with them. What I'm gonna do with, with, with people like that is I'm gonna show them what I got. You know, I'm gonna tell them what I have. Hey, you know, I started a business in, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is. And, uh, you know, if you know anybody that you think might be a good fit, let me know. You know, I, if I owned a professional sports franchise, I would let them know that I owned a professional sports franchise. Or if I owned a pizza joint, I'd let them know that I owned a pizza joint. Um, so just be creative. Get out there. Engage people. Meet people. Do things. And you will watch your business soar. Get on your computer instead of scrolling through Facebook mindlessly. Look to engage somebody. Look off to the right on that part on the right hand side that shows people that are online. Engage them in a conversation. Once again, don't vomit your opportunity on them. Don't go, hey, Joe, this is Scott. Check this out and let me know what you think. Say, hey, Joe, what's going on, man? Long time, no talk or whatever. You know, how's your family? You know, start building that relationship. Start building that trust. Joe, what are you doing for work nowadays? Oh, cool, man. How can I help you? I mean, I mean I'm, I'm affiliated maybe in that industry or whatever. Whatever it is. Engage people. Engage people. Learn and have fun with it. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to, I got to make this money. I got to do this. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Uh, as always, connect with me at marketingwithscott.com. That's through my blog. You can connect with me on Facebook. Send me a message and a friend request. I just got done cleaning out a bunch of friends. So send me a message. Uh, if you're a cool marketer and you want to learn more, send me a message that says, hey, I just uh, saw your, your video and I wanted to send you a uh, friend request. And I will accept it every time, 100%. If you end up being a fool that's always spamming me, I'll just get rid of you later. So that's fine. Um, you can follow me on YouTube, Twitter. Um, but, you know, originate obviously here, marketingwithscott.com. So hopefully everybody's having a blessed day filled with gratitude. Um, I am massively grateful for today. It's Friday, which could be a Monday. It doesn't really matter to me, but um, it's Friday. Kids will be home from school soon. Going to have a little bit of fun and uh, play with them. So... Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this video, uh, you know, comment below, give me some feedback and, uh, you know, be in touch. So uh, everybody have a great weekend and we'll see you on the next, uh, the next show.